Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video is brought to us by Natural State Transparency. So go ahead and hop on over to their channel and give them a like and subscribe and everything like that. Because, well, this is a perfect example of how corrupt and tyrannical our police officers are. Every single one of them. This is a perfect example of what these frauditors are talking about all the time. Of how you can't trust any cops at all. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh my goodness, the tyrant has pulled over some innocent sovereign citizen whose only crime is that well, they didn't put a license plate on on their car, which we all know you don't need a license plate in any state in the union because, well, there are, there are no laws that say that you have to have one. And you might as well just go in and forget about the Tenth Amendment because that was just a typo anyway. You know, the uh, Founding Fathers, well, they weren't very good at writing anything anyway. I mean, everybody makes mistakes. But let's carry on, shall we? Okay. I just bought it from my brother. Yeah. Trooper Drake, Arkansas State Police, stop because there ain't no license, okay? Lots of play. You got your license with you? I don't you? have a license. I'm working you on it. You got an ID? I do. I'm trying to get my insurance. How long have you had it? I just had it maybe like almost a week. Almost a and week? I was calling today. You got any insurance? And that was what I'm trying to do. That's what I was really trying to do. But I had rented this. Oh, wait, this is not a sovereign citizen. This is just somebody who hasn't had the ability to pay for their insurance yet. So, yeah, no wonder they don't have a license plate. And I'm sure this tyrannical officer is going to haul them away to the dungeon if Chile de Castro is correct. And I'm sure that's what's going to happen here because it happens 100% of the time, doesn't it, Chile? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really use it, officer. I'm sorry. Okay, you got any paperwork that's got the VIN number and stuff on it? This right here. Got the title? Yes, sir. Okay. It's my brother's friend that Bruce Anderson. I haven't signed it yet. I haven't signed it yet. You ever been in any trouble or anything? Yes, sir. What for? Yes, you on papers or anything? Okay. You got anything on you today? I'll tell you right now, the one in my purse, that's my son. But I mean, I'll throw it go out or whatever. Go and step out. No. I'm gonna go to Just leave it right there. Okay. Go and step out. I'm sorry. Um, what kind of drugs you been in trouble for? I was in trouble for methamphetamine, but you're not on time that at all. I mean, when was the last time you used any? The last time I used it was almost, almost a year. All right, walk to the back for me. You good. Nice. You got any pipes or anything? Yes, all right. Lane against your car. Okay, so uh, just a little bit of marijuana, no methamphetamine, no pipes, any unprescribed pills? No, sir. Okay, any heroin? No, sir. Any cocaine? Ecstasy? All right, any fentanyl? Okay. Have you used anything else besides marijuana recently? Any alcohol? Any guns? Knives? <laughs> no, sir. Okay. I mean, I just bought the car, and I did get my brother a pocket knife out of the side. Okay, that's fine. Just lean right there for me. Oh, my God. She answered all the tyrant's questions. Uh, she was. She didn't have Chili's trifle. She's going to be in deep shit, isn't she? She's going to go to the dungeon, isn't she? Oh, Chili, please do give her your trifle and save her from that fate. Five minutes later. What did you have to spend on this? What did I spend on it? I spent about $15. Listen, my child not a child, it's grown up. Can I just pour it out and not go to jail? Huh? Can I just pour it out and not go to jail? 
ground. Stomp it. All right, rub it in. We can light fire to it and all that. Right there. Do not stop anywhere. Do not go anywhere. If I see that vehicle on this streets again, I will tow it. You're going to get a ticket today for no driver's license. I'm not going to write you on the insurance. Use that insurance money for paying that insurance ticket to get insurance, okay? okay. All right. And then I'm not writing you for that. Oh, oh no. Oh no. This is not how it's supposed to go. The tyrant is supposed to not be so merciful on her. He's supposed to take her to the dungeon, not cut her any slack. I mean, come on now, Chili. Isn't this the way it's not supposed to go? I mean, you are the expert on this, aren't you? Do you have anything to say for yourself? Ticket, no driver's license, court date 10 17 23, 9 a.m. You pay before court, do not show up to court on your court date. If you got any questions, call the number circle. There's a, I don't know, you have to call that number out there, okay? All right, there's a warning on the with the driver without the tags, okay? But you got time to do it, but that's the reason I stopped you. And I'm cutting you probably about $1,500 ticket are, break, I'm okay? All right, so go, go park it. I am. All right, be safe. Well, I am so sorry, guys. I thought this was going to be the quintessential example of the perfect tyrant, but no, I was led astray. I led you guys astray. This was not a tyrant. This was just a man who was doing his job, but understood that some people had a little bit of an issue where they can't pay their insurance sometimes, so he let her off the hook. Well, good for him. And this is entirely due to the fact that, well, she didn't act like a damn frauder the whole time or acted like a uh, damn sovereign sis in the begin with. So, yeah, that's pretty much a lesson for you right there, too. Don't act like a damn frauder and they won't treat you like one. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?